What's good guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and today I'm going to show you guys the built-in flex time for Pro Tools. Yes, Pro Tools has a built-in flex time. It's hella dope. Let's get into it. Combat, this is a banger, huh? All right, so I got my session over here. This is by Dre Rashad. We actually just knocked the song out. I fully produced this one, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the song. Look, we went from broke ass to some cash to first class, flying in like Fresh Prince. All I need my nigga jazz, and we on top. Like Val so with this song right here, we got all my beat stems right here. We got a main vocal track and two ins and out tracks or highlight tracks or however you guys want to call this right here. And pretty much they're not lined up, so I want to line them up. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left side over here on the channel. We're going to start with this green strip right here. I'll make this one active. So we got this. And yes, you can see some of these are going to be a little bit not in the line. You see that? You see how it's a little off right here? Now, a lot of the time in like any type of radio style songs or any song that we really want to push out there, we should align the vocals. Unless it's some type of creative effect or the artist just prefers it to have that little bit of delay or anything like that. And believe me, there are some people that like that. If not, they want like a really clean hidden song. This is the way to do it. We're going to go to the left of the track and we're going to find this little grayed out area over here. We're going to click this and hit monophonic. Now when we hit monophonic, we're going to go to wave and we're going to go to warp. Now what this does is it gives you little like warp uh, transients over here on each one of the main parts. They kind of like do like a little automatic of like where they feel like the syllables are and everything like that. So we're going to go over here all the way to our right. Now I always recommend you guys start at your right and then go to your left because if you start at your left you could really throw a lot of things out of line and it's just easier to keep things connected starting at your right. So we're going to go to the right over here. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the last transient and double click. See, when I hover over here now, you guys see there's a plus by my little horizontal arrows right there. When I double click off of this, you see it's a little bracket. Now, the bracket kind of indicates where it's starting, and that's why we want to start all the way to the right. So I'm going to double click over here. I'm going to zoom in as much as I want, and I am also want to get the waveforms a little bigger. So I'm going to go up to over here, and I'm going to just make these a little bigger so I can see what I'm doing. Now I kind of want to start making this even so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this out a little bit and then I'm going to drag this over here. It's all I pretty much do. Just make sure I keep dragging. It's automatically going to keep the transients where you want them. So I'll move this here, move this here, move this here. And as you guys can see I have a pretty clean transient over there. If you guys want this to be kind of out over here, it's cool, you could leave that. But if you guys want this in, notice how I don't have any type of warp over here. There's no transient over here for me to grab onto. All I have to do is hold down control on my keyboard, find a place I want to add my warp marker, click, and then just drag in. It's really that easy. Sway nothing but love, it's all love. And now it's even. When I sway nothing but love, it's all Dope. And then I would just pretty much go through and just clean all these up right here. It's a little time consuming, but I promise when you guys do it, it just sounds so much cleaner. Like it sounds, it sounds pretty amazing, but this is literally all you do. I move pretty fast when I do this, but, um, you know, you guys take your time with this. Make sure you guys are com always command Sing. Make sure you guys are saving you never know if something were to like go wrong or anything and then boom you lose all that warping you just did like that would that would really suck i'm not gonna lie now when you guys do the whole track you guys are done warping to kind of consolidate to commit all that stuff on there you're gonna want to go back over here to the left side you're gonna want to click with the part that was grayed out before the elastic audio you go all the way up to none and then all we do is hit commit boom now all the parts that we had here are gonna be committed on. A nigga uses common sense, but is there a law stay used to taking dubs and keep giving hate when I sway nothing but love is all Dope. And now those vocals are aligned. Now this is either called flex time or uh, as Pro Tools calls it elastic audio. Either way, get your vocals right. 
All right, and that completes our tutorial for today. I hope this really helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me on Instagram at combat underscore K. I'll make sure I have the link below in the description. And if you guys need any presets and templates, I have free presets and templates up on my website, infiniterhythmpresets.com. You guys get some free samples over there. We have them for GarageBand, Logic Pro X, and Pro Tools. Get your vocals sounding clean with just a drag and a drop. And if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that helps me out a lot so I can continue to help you guys out. Let's get it.